There will be no law in this video. Today we're just talking about my Cobra. Uh, I promised a walk around and drive video and just finally got around to doing this. I got a couple cameras. Took me a while to get used to how they work. So you'll see that I've got one clamped to the top of the windshield. And I've got one in my hand. So this is a two camera shoot. <laughs> it's about the extent of my abilities. But this is my Cobra. Uh, and so uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about the details of it. And then we'll take it for a spin in just a second. But we'll walk around and get some close-ups. So for instance, it's got the knockoff wheels. Uh, that wheel is held on by that single spinner there. It does not have lug nuts in the traditional sense. Uh, just like the uh, cool cars of the old days. Uh, we'll take a look at the engine in just a second. Uh, the car has side pipes, actual side pipes. They come out right there and they terminate right there. And uh, it does rumble a bit when it's running. Uh, so there you go. It's also got the racing fuel filler cap, which of course makes the car go faster. <laughs> and those things right there are not bumpers. Those are for jacking the car up uh, especially in a race if you want to get the back end of the car up or the front end of the car up really quickly. You slide a custom made thing underneath there and boom, in one move you can jack it up. Now here's the engine. This is a third generation 5.0 Coyote. And it's got all kinds of cool stuff. It's got aluminum cylinder heads, dual overhead cam, an aluminum block. Uh, it's got um, all kinds of other cool stuff. Uh, braided fuel line if you're into that. 11 to 1 compression um, and of course uh, a 7,000 rpm redline they've done a really good job of shoehorning it in here <laughs> and there's not a lot of space under here for anything else but i think it looks pretty cool there's your air intake up front and uh it it, it gets up and it goes and by the way this thing is tied into a 10 speed automatic transmission i get some grief about that not having a manual transmission in this vehicle but i'll tell you number one uh, you could actually get a Shelby Cobra, an original, uh, with an automatic in it. Um, they built a few of those. But, um, you know, I can drive a manual transmission. Um, I know there's people out there who think it's like a holy experience to drive a clutch. Um, it can be fun, but after a while, I, sometimes you just want to drive. So I'll point out to you that this um, interior, I ordered this this way. The blue stitching on the black, for instance, the blue matches the color, which, by the way, this is not Cobra Blue. This is not Cobra Blue. Uh, typical Cobras are in what they call Guardsman Blue. This is uh, Viper GTS Blue, which I custom ordered because that would be kind of cool because my other car is a Viper. It's red, but I thought I like the Viper Blue, and since I can custom order any color I want, I got Viper GTS Blue. You'll notice the gauges there are pretty cool. Uh, the odometer, when you can read it, is 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> That's pretty cool, too. <laughs> so... I drive it as often as I can. It does have paddle shifters, by the way. If you really actually want to, you know, play with the shifting while you're driving, you can do that too. So, I I love driving this car. So I decided to jump in it. Then after doing the walk around, take it for a quick spin. And so we're driving along here out in the country. Uh, a lot of trees are changing colors, which is pretty cool. I was hoping to be doing this um, without much traffic or anything like that. But of course, being Michigan, I encountered construction. <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere but check out the, right there the uh, tree colors are changing some of the trees have already dumped all their leaves other trees are hanging on like they often do so a uh, great day for a drive i think it's around the 70s maybe uh, when i was doing this and you know it's it's a different experience driving a, a, a an open top car like this uh, this car does not have a roof and literally there's no roof even a, i mean you can order a thing that goes over it but to me it looks kind of ugly so i didn't even bother so if you're driving this thing, you know, it's open top. There's no side windows. There's no back windows. Uh, there is a roll bar for me, <laughs> the driver. And people say, Steve, what good is that roll bar for me, the passenger? And I say, yeah, you know something? If we need this roll bar, it ain't going to help either one of us very much. But um, here we are just cruising along. So it's, it's open top. It's windy. It's a little bit loud. If you want to have a discussion with the passenger, you're going to have to elevate your decibel level just a tiny little bit. But uh, it's just fun. Uh, push button start, of course, because all modern cars do that now. And um, there is a fresh air intake on that hood. And um, got to keep my eyes on the road there. See, so check it out. Oh, there we go. And uh, I, I, I've just got a lot of uh, reaction to this car, which I was kind of impressed by, surprised by. You know, my Viper is bright red. And I drive that car place, and I get thumbs ups, and I get waves. 
nothing compared to the reaction to get to the Cobra. I literally have people yelling at me. Oh my God, I love your car. Uh, I, I went to visit a friend of mine a couple weeks ago and I drove it not that far and was recognized three times where people, oh my God, Steve, Steve, you know. <laughs> These are not people I know. <laughs> they just look over, they see the car and then they go, oh wait, that's that, that's that guy from YouTube. But um, the last time I went and got gas, I'm at a gas station. A guy comes running over. I thought he was going to tell me, like, oh, my God, your car's on fire. He's like, oh, my God, that's my dream car. It's my dream car. And I've had people ask me, can I sit in it? Can I get my picture taken with it? Can I? Yes, yes. <laughs> One of the things that makes these cars so enjoyable is, is seeing the joy they bring to other people. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, but it's true. And, again, I, I talked to Mark about this. So Mark has, has, has gotten a lot of these for customers. And I'm like, Mark, you wouldn't believe the reaction I'm getting is, no, I would. I hear this from every single person I sell one of these cars to, is the reaction that you get. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, in fact, on this drive, I, I, before the camera was rolling, I had a couple of people waving and giving me thumbs up. So it's just, I don't know these people. They're just, they're just, they're, they just like the car. So here's some beautiful black top. This is what this car is made for right here. Just driving along out in the country and uh, going through the curves. Um, there's a little bit of gravel on the road from the upcoming construction. Uh, and so, unfortunately the sound, and I gotta probably, uh, I'm narrating this later, I probably do have to pull the sound down a little bit from the road noise so you can hear my voice while I'm narrating. But unfortunately, uh, you don't get a really good sound of the exhaust here because of the camera that's clipped to the windshield. It's picking up a lot of wind noise. But uh, the car's got a really nice sound. It's not unbearably loud at idle or just driving. But if you stomp on it, um, it, <laughs> it, gets, it gets loud. And the funny thing is, this car is kind of low. It's kind of small. It's, it's, it's parked next to my Viper. It looks like a small car. Um, and it's kind of small, but it's got, it's got a huge footprint. If you look at the tires, tires front and back are both monstrously wide. And so it's got a really, really good grip on the road. So you never feel like it's it's gonna slip or break loose or get sideways. And I understand you could. I understand that you could actually, you know, do donuts in it if you wanted to. I have not done that. Um, that's not the kind of thing I'm into. But obviously, um, breaking the tires loose would take some effort, but it could do it. And that's the other thing you have to remember. This engine, the Coyote 5.0 Generation 3, puts out about the same horsepower as my Viper engine. Uh, in case you're curious, the uh, stripe is stone white, stone white, along with the Viper GTS blue paint job. <laughs> and, and the interior is black with blue stitching. And uh, the car was actually completed on December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day of 2023. And I ordered this car literally over a year before I took delivery. I was actually at a car show with Mark uh, sometime before, I'm guessing back in 2021, when we started talking about this. And I said, you know, I love those cars. I'd seen a couple of these cars pass through his shop. And I said, I love those cars. And he said, well, you, you should consider getting one. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. And I started asking questions about what they're available with, and the engines and so on. And he said, just to let you know, though, there's a waiting list that's a year long. And I said, wait, what? He goes, yeah, a year long waiting list. And I said, so if I want one of these cars and I want to order it, if I order it today, I won't get it for a year. And he said, yes. I said, okay, I better order one pretty quickly then, right? <laughs> so I, I ordered it. And the sad part was that it should have gotten here if it had been exactly a year, more like I think in June. And uh, sometime around in May or June, he sent me a note. He said, hey, Steve, uh, sorry, but backdraft is, is backed up a little bit. And... Um, they can't deliver it uh, probably till a little bit later, possibly the fall. And I said, oh, okay, well, you know, I'll just, I'll get it when it gets here. And then it turned out to be that I got it in December. And so I did shoot a brief video that day where I, I got in the car for the first time, fired it up and drove it home. And uh, this, the thing about that was, it was a very, very cold day, very, very cold day. And so all I did was literally fire it up, drive it home, stick it in the garage. And I actually got to drive it a couple times because there was no snow on the ground for a while here in Michigan uh, last year. So I actually did get to drive it a few times. 
but didn't put any actual mileage on it until this year. And so I drive it as often as I can. But again, you can't daily drive the car uh, because of the inclement weather possibilities here in Michigan. The car does not have uh, a roof, as I noted, but it does have a cover that you put over the passenger compartment. Like suppose you got caught in the rain, you grab this cover and it covers the interior so the interior doesn't get wet. But you can't sit in the car with the cover on. And um, I hate to, you can't drive it in the rain, obviously. <laughs> so I, I wait for perfect days like the day that I shot this. And on a perfect day, I'll take it out and I'll drive it. And I have a lot of fun. So it's got about 13 or 1400 miles on it now. So I got it out a few more times after I shot this. I won't put it away uh, until there's actually snow on the ground. And then I will put it away. I, I, I don't mind putting on a heavy jacket and going for a ride because it's a lot of fun. So this is my backdraft Cobra. And I, I, it's funny because people pull up next to me in traffic. I had a guy actually the other day go, hey, is that is that thing real? <laughs> I said, well, no, it's not a real Shelby Cobra because the real Shelby Cobra this car is a replica of would cost over a million dollars. Over a million dollars. I ain't got that kind of money. And if I did, I wouldn't take it out and drive it around like this. I mean, I'd, I'd, feel, I'd feel terrified of somebody rear-ending me or T-boning me at an intersection. I, 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 I couldn't risk that. It would, it would make me not enjoy it. So don't get me wrong. I don't object to other people who've got those cars if they drive them. That's great. But um, I personally couldn't do it. But, but for me, this is a replica. It's fun to drive, and I do drive it. And uh, I don't think it takes away from it that in that sense, because you know I've had people say, you know, oh, it's a replica. They go, it's still, it's, you know, beautiful car, it still looks great. It does, it does. So, uh, like I said, it is a, a uh, backdraft roadster, completed and delivered in December of 2023, uh, and um, I'm having a blast driving it. So right now I alternate back and forth. I brought it to a couple car shows. I brought it to a car show. I brought it to the uh, Troy Traffic Show. And uh, had a lot of people uh, come up and talk to me about it. A lot of fun there, too. So this, again, is the walk around and drive video I've been promising you all year. Finally got to it. I'm now going to uh, shut up. <laughs> I just let this play out. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.